Maurice Bardesh, the 1st of October 1907 to the 30th of July 1998, was a French essayist, literary and art critic, journalist, and one of the leading exponents of neo-fascism in post-World War II Europe. Bardesh was also the brother-in-law of the collaborationist Robert Brasilic, executed after the liberation. Topic: <laughs> Academic career. Bardesh was born in a modest family of Dun sur Oran in the Cher department on 1 October 1907. A product of the educational opportunities of the Third Republic, Bardesh had received a scholarship, and completed Hypocaine at the prestigious Lycée Louis Le Grand in Paris. There, he met Thierry Maulnier and his future brother-in-law Robert Brasilic, establishing lifelong connections. In 1928, he entered the École Normale Supérieure ENS, where he met with the philosopher Simone Weil whom he nicknamed the «Red Virgin» after Louise Michel, Claude Yamet, Jacques Soustel, Roger Valand and Georges Pompidou, future president of France. He was received at the Aggregation Literary Section in 1932, and started teaching at the Sorbonne University. A year later, he described himself as «a snail withdrawn into its shell». He was heavily influenced by the nationalist intellectual Maurice Bars and the leader of the monarchist Action Française AF, Charles Maurice Bardesh initially came to prominence as an associate of Brasilic and Maulnier, writing in their journals 1933, 1934, 1935, essentially as a literary chroniker. During the Spanish Civil War 1936 to 1939, he traveled several times to the country and wrote with Brasilic a history of the Spanish War, in which he called for the violent defense of order and of Francoism in front of paralyzing democracy, one like malaria. Seduced by José Antonio Primo de Rivera's Falange, his support of fascism may be dated to this period. Bardesh also co-authored with Brasilic a history of cinema 1935, a work that influenced cinema history for years. Bardesh completed his thesis on Balzac in 1940, titled La formation de l'art du roman chez Balzac jusqu'à la publication du Pur Goryeau, from which he would publish a biography, Balzac Romancier. He continued to teach at the Sorbonne, moving to the Université des sciences et technologies de Lille from 1942 to 4. He then became recognized for his critical works. Bardesh began to write for the fascist journal Je suis Partout in 1938. During the German occupation, he didn't take a position. After the execution of Brasilic, he claimed that the resistance is excesses. The bombing of Dresden and post-liberation atrocities were war crimes. Topic: <laughs> After World War II, After the liberation, he was briefly arrested for collaborationism but quickly released, while his brother-in-law, Robert Brasilic, was executed. He denounced Brasilic's death as criminal. Bardesh was expelled from the national education, proscribed from giving courses in the public education system. He then founded his own literary publishing house, Les Sept Colors, the Seven Colors and also founded a right-wing journal titled Défense de l'Occident in 1952, dedicating himself to rehabilitating Brasilic's works and ideology. He wrote a lettre à François Mauriac in 1947, in which he attacked the Eparation Legale legal purge of Vichy supporters, defended collaborationism and criticized resistance members whom he called, "...rebels against legality." His 1948 follow-up, Nuremberg o la Terra Promise, which was an attack on the Nuremberg trials and denial of the existence of gas chambers saw him sentenced to a year's imprisonment for apology of war crimes, while the book was censored. This feat saw him become recognized as one of the leading thinkers of neo-fascism. However, Bardesh never served his prison term, as his sentence was commuted by President René Coty, and he was only imprisoned for a few weeks in Fresnes. He was a founder of the European Social Movement in 1951 and became its vice president, which brought him together with leaders such as Oswald Mosley, Karl Heinz Priester and Per Engdahl. He continued publishing his journal Défense de l'Occident from 1952 to 1982, in which ideas of a European nationalism were espoused. In 1952, he wrote another negationist book, basing it on Paul Racinier's arguments. Unlike some of his contemporaries, Bardesh made no secret of his fascism and famously wrote in the introduction to his 1961 work KCEK Le Fascism, I am a fascist writer. 
He was particularly attracted to the Italian Social Republic and sought to use that model as the basis for a more contemporary ideology that he termed fascism amaliore, improved fascism. Bardesh also became a leading critic of the official Holocaust narrative and wrote extensively on the subject in his later life. He died in Paris in 1998. He was described as a prophet of a European Renaissance for which he had long hoped. By Jean Marie Le Pen, one leader of the National Front Party. His wife Suzanne died in 2005. In 2012, the eldest of his five sons, Jacques Bardèche, discussed the life of Maurice Bardèche on Radio Meridian Zero. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Works. Histoire du cinéma avec Robert Brasillac, Denoël et Steele, 1935, Aide, Complété en 1943. Histoire de la guerre d'Espagne avec Robert Brasillac, Plan, 1939. Balzac romancier, La formation de l'art du roman chez Balzac jusqu'à la publication du Per Goriot, 1822-1835, Plan, 1940, Aide, Refondu en 1943. Lettre à François Mauriac, La Pensée Libre, 1947 Stendhal Romancier, La Table Ronde, 1947 Nuremberg au la Terra Promise, Les Sept Colors, 1948 Nuremberg II au Les Faux Moniers, Les Sept Colors, 1950 L'Europe entre Washington et Moscow, R. Troublin, 1951 L'Urf de Christophe Colomb Lettre à un sénateur d'Amérique, Les Sept Colors, 1952 Les Temps Modernes, Les Sept Colors, 1956 Suzanne et le Taudis, Plan, 1957 KCEK Le Fascisme, Les Sept Colors, 1961 Histoire des Femmes, 2 volume, Stock, 1968 Sparte et les Sudistes, Les Sept Colors, 1969 Marcel Proust, Romancier, Les Sept Colors, 1971 L'Herve de Flaubert, Les Sept Colors, 1974 Balzac, Giard, 1980 Louis Ferdinand Céline, La Table Ronde, 1986 Léon Bloy, La Table Ronde, 1989 Souvenirs, Boucher Chastel, 1993 See also Chanton's Sue's L'Occupation, a documentary film